Hi, this is a quick video on how to make the variance covariance matrix in Excel. I've got six stocks here and returns for six weeks, but this method works with any number of assets or any number of returns. Now, I assume you're a bit familiar with the concept of covariance, but let's take a look at the formula. Let's say we divide it into two parts, where the first part is 1 divided by n minus 1, and the second part is the sum of x minus x bar times y minus y bar. x bar, or y bar for that matter, is the expected return, and since we're weighting all the historical data equally, we'll just use the average function to find the expected return. So type in average, and just drag it all over here and you have a vector of expected returns and since x bar or y bar is the expected return then x minus x bar is the excess return and the next thing we should do then is to find the excess return for all the stocks and all the weeks so just select a 6 by 6 matrix since we got 6 stocks and 6 weeks and select the return matrix and subtract the expected return vector and press control shift enter it's important to always press control shift enter when you're dealing with matrices or array formulas in Excel and now that we have the excess return matrix the next question is how we're going to find the sum of the excess return for one stock multiplied by the excess return of another stock for all the weeks. And the way to do this is with matrix multiplication. So let's take Hydro and Salmar as an example. If we multiply the excess return vector for Hydro with the excess return vector for Salmar, we will get the last part in the covariance formula. And if you know something about matrix multiplication, you know that you get your row information from the first vector or the first matrix and your column information from the second matrix. So we're going to have to transpose the first vector and then multiply it by the second vector. And all that is left to find the covariance between the two assets now is to divide by n minus 1, which in our case is 5. And we're going to do the exactly the same thing with the entire matrix so select a 6 by 6 matrix since we've got 6 assets here and type in mmult transpose and then select the excess return matrix and multiply it by the excess return matrix and control shift enter and all that is left now is to divide the entire matrix by n minus 1, and which is 5 in our case. And then we got our variance covariance matrix here. And the beauty about this method is that you can do all of this in one step. So select a 6 by 6 matrix, and or, well, the number of assets you've got and type in mmult transpose and select the return matrix and subtract the expected return vector and multiply it by the return matrix minus the expected return vector and divide it by n minus 1 5 here and control shift enter and we got the variance covariance matrix if you have any questions just Ask them in the comment field.